In this video, I show you how to force restart, enter recovery mode, enter DFU mode, temporarily turn off finding when powering off, and much more for the iPhone 13. 9 to 5 Mac on YouTube is sponsored by Tenorshare's Reboot. Ever find your iPhone stuck on an Apple logo like this? Not only can Tenorshare's Reboot fix this problem, but it can also do a whole lot more. Simply connect your iOS device to your Mac and instantly gain access to awesome features, like the ability to enter or exit recovery mode with a single click like this. Now that feature by itself seems cool enough. Up. But with Reboot, you gain access to a whole bunch of other repair features as well. In fact, Tenorshare says it can fix over 150 iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS issues. It can help you recover iOS to normal without data loss. It can even help you downgrade from an iOS beta like this. Click the link down below in the description for more details and special thanks to Tenorshare for sponsoring 9to5Mac. So before we get started, let's familiarize ourselves with the three buttons that we'll be using throughout this tutorial. You have the side button, which is located on the right side of the display. It looks like this. And then on the opposite side, you have the two volume buttons, volume up and volume down. And you'll press those buttons in various combinations throughout this tutorial. So first of all, let's cover one of the most essential basics, powering off your iPhone 13. So to do so, all you need to do is press and hold the side button, which is on the right side of the display right here, along with one of the volume buttons, either volume up or volume down, doesn't matter which, you just press and hold both simultaneously at the same time, like this, and after just a few seconds, you'll see this with slide to power off at the top. So all you do is slide to power off just like that. Now powering on your iPhone 13 is even simpler. All you need to do is press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Now, if you don't see the Apple logo after a little bit, that probably either means your iPhone is dead and you need to charge the battery. Also, it could be possible that your phone is in DFU mode, but that is extremely unlikely unless you obviously put your phone into DFU mode. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, let me show you another way to power off your iPhone. Open up the settings app, tap general, and then you choose the shutdown option at the bottom of the general section. So there you go. Now you just simply slide to power off. So no finger gymnastics necessary with that method. Now, if you don't take anything else from this tutorial, remember this, how to force restart your iPhone. So you're gonna press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the side button. You're gonna do that in a sequence in quick succession. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button, continue holding the side button until your screen goes black. just like that. And now you can take your finger off the side button. You should see the Apple logo appear. The reason why you would want to know how to do this is if your phone starts acting weird, it doesn't respond to touch. And sometimes that happens. And I don't have to do this often, but it's something that I definitely remember how to do because from time to time, your iPhone will just start acting weird. It'll lock up or it won't respond to touch. And in those cases, this is probably the first thing that you should consider doing, just force restarting your iPhone. And honestly, it couldn't be much simpler. Now I'm gonna show you how to enter recovery mode on iPhone 13. So first of all, make sure you have a Mac or PC available, have a lightning to USB-C cable and connect that to your iPhone 13. Now recovery mode allows you to manually update or restore your iPhone. And you wanna make sure if you get this little pop up here to trust your computer that you connect to. So that is important. So go ahead and tap the trust button to accept, and then you'll have to enter your iPhone's passcode. All right. So now it's time to enter our button sequence to get into recovery mode. So it's going to be volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button and continue to hold the side button until you see the connect to computer glyph. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're going to do it in quick succession and put our iPhone 13 into recovery mode. So let's do it now. Volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button, continue holding the side button. Do not let it go. And again, like I said, if you want to manually restore or update your iPhone, recovery mode allows you to do that. Continue holding the side button until you see the connect to computer glyph. There you go. So now you can release the side button on your computer. You should notice 
the finder open up, indicating that you are in recovery mode. So it looks like this. And as you can see, you get two buttons there, update or restore. So update basically updates you to the latest version of iOS and keeps all your data while restore will wipe your iPhone with a brand new installation of iOS. Now the likelihood of you needing to actually use recovery mode is fairly slim in 2021. However, it's good to know how to update or restore manually just in case you need to. So now let's talk about how to exit out of recovery mode on your iPhone 13. So you see the connect to computer glyph, all you need to do is simply press and hold the side button until the connect to computer glyph goes away. So let's do that now. I'm pressing and holding the side button. And in just a second, you'll get a black screen like that. You can release the side button. You should see the Apple logo just like that. And your iPhone will reboot back to the lock screen. So that's how to easily exit out of recovery mode. And we'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit here. And there's our lock screen. Super simple, super easy. Now let's talk about something a little bit more challenging and that is how to enter DFU mode on the iPhone 13. So just like recovery mode, you wanna make sure you're connected to your Mac or PC with the lightning to USB cable. Now the chances of you needing to use DFU mode is slim to none. But in the off chance that you do need DFU mode, I'm going to show you how to get in it right here, right now. So this will require some definite finger gymnastics. You need to press volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button for 10 seconds, then press and hold the volume down button while continuing to hold that side button. And then after about five seconds, release the side button and continue to hold the volume down. I know it's a lot, but just, just trust me on this one. I'm gonna show you how to do so in this video right now. So let's go ahead and put the iPhone 13 into DFU mode, watch this. So we wanna press and release volume up press and release volume down, press and hold the side button for 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now press and hold the volume down button while continuing to hold the side button for five seconds. Release the side button after five seconds, continue to hold the volume down button for about 10 seconds. The screen should stay black. That is the key. So if the screen is staying black, you have successfully entered DFU mode and you know you're in DFU mode when you look at your computer and you see this message right here. So what this is telling us is that your iPhone needs to be restored. So that's one of the differences that you'll notice visually between recovery mode and DFU mode. In recovery mode, you get the option to update. In DFU mode, you don't get the option to update. You only have the option to restore your iPhone with a fresh new install of iOS. Now, how to exit out of DFU mode on iPhone 13. It's not as easy as recovery mode, but it is easy. You just press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo and that's it. So let's do it. Press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button, continue holding until you see the Apple logo. It will take a little bit of time. Just be patient. Patience, folks. All right, so in just a second, there we go. There's an Apple logo. You can release the side button and we're good. It's gonna boot back to the lock screen. Now, let me tell you how to temporarily disable Face ID. And actually, we've already done this. It involves pressing and holding the side button with one of the volume buttons, just like this. And now you see this screen, that's familiar, right? But notice when you hit cancel, that face ID is disabled. So you actually have to enter your passcode in order to re-enable face ID. So uh, we can go ahead and do that right now. I'm just gonna put my passcode in. And now when I lock the device using the side button and then I wake it back up, you'll notice that face ID is reactivated, just like that. So that can be handy, but let's talk about the next tip, emergency SOS. Now I wanna preface this section with a warning. Please do not use this unless you are in a genuine emergency because it will contact emergency authorities in your area. Now to do so, all you need to do is press and hold the side button and one of the volume buttons and continue to hold them. So let me show you what we're doing right here. So volume up, I'm just gonna choose that one along with the side button. 
press and hold both at the same time, continue to hold, and see the countdown? Yeah, you don't want to let that count all the way down because emergency authorities will be contacted. The cool thing is you can do this with your phone in your pocket if you're being chased or if you're in an emergency, that is a good way that you can quickly contact authorities and let them know there's an emergency. Now, another way to do this is simply to press and hold the side button and a volume button, get to this screen right here, and then use the SOS slider just like that. Now, don't slide it all the way over unless you want to genuinely contact emergency authorities. There is one additional way to uh, use emergency SOS, and it requires you to go in and configure this option within the settings. So let's go into the settings app, go down to emergency SOS, and then you'll see call with side button. So basically when you enable this, it allows you to invoke emergency SOS by pressing the side button five times in succession. So doing that is a simple and easier way to invoke emergency SOS with just a single button instead of using multiple buttons. So I'm not going to actually press it the five times. I don't want to contact emergency authorities and send out any false alarms here. So those are the three ways to use emergency SOS. Just good to know just in case. Now let's talk about the final thing. This is new for iOS 15, how to disable Find My when powering off your iPhone. So new for iOS 15, notice the new message below the slide to power off slider. It says iPhone findable after power off. So your phone can still be tracked with Find My if you're logged into the Find My network, you have location services enabled even when your phone's off. So to disable that temporarily, you simply tap that message and then choose the option to temporarily turn off finding. So this will make it so your phone can't be tracked by Find My even when it's off. It's temporary, so you have to do this each time. So tap temporary turn off finding, then it's gonna ask you for your passcode to temporarily disable Find My for the next power off. So I put my passcode in, and then you have to quickly slide the power off because as you see there, it will reset and make you do it all again. So you have to be quick about it. Be quick on the toes. Let's go ahead and try it again. We'll tap the, the little message there. Tap temporarily turn off. Put in your passcode and then quickly slide to power off. Just like that. So no more tracking with your phone off temporarily. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to learn something. If you appreciated this video, please leave me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Special thanks to Tenorshare's Reboot for sponsoring 9to5Mac, the perfect companion for your brand new iPhone 13. Tenorshare's Reboot lets you enter and exit recovery mode with a single click. In fact, Tenorshare can fix over 150 iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS issues. Click the link in the description to download Reboot today.